everyone, let's make my snow globe soap. So many of you had guessed correctly that this was going to be a snow globe soap. So this is some cold process soap that I had poured into another mold and this is going to be the base of the snow globe. Um, after I removed it from the mold, I cut it into two pieces. I then placed one of these pieces into the bottom of the mold that I'm going to be using to make my soap. Next, I am removing my embed from the mold. This was a several part process. Um, I had to make the center parts out of soap and then I had to place that soap into a larger mold. And then, um, so this is me just removing this from the mold and then cleaning up the edges. And then I am fitting them in my mold and I had to make several of these because I have more than one loaf of soap. So I am placing two of these and I'm measuring them to make sure that they will fit correctly. Next, I am mixing up a batch of blue soap to go around the snow globe. And then I am shaving some of my cold process white soap and shaving that into my bowl. And then I'm going to be using my mixer to chop up those pieces into smaller bits. And then I am pouring this soap over my snow globe and then filling up the entire mold. And that little bit of batter that I had poured off into a smaller container, my goal was to pipe some snowflakes onto the soap. But um, no matter what I tried, I could not get these to come out looking like snowflakes. So I ended up scraping them off and just forgetting that whole idea. And then I'm sprinkling on some colorant that will make the very top shimmer. The next day, it's time to unmold and cut this soap. And because I have such a large embed inside of the center of the soap, I have to use my blade cutter. Otherwise, my wires would have broken. And now I'm cutting the bars. And let's take this first one outside so you can see what it looks like outside. And these are my snow globe soaps. They have a snowman in the center of the snow globe. And surrounding the snowman, I added some sparkly mica to kind of make it look like the snow in the snow globe. And then, of course, the base on the very bottom is what the snow globe is sitting on. And then I just have the snow surrounding the snow globe. And this is what it looks like inside. These are scented in Winter Wonderland. They have a hint of pineapple. They also smell like forest pine needles, clove buds, sweet cotton candy, soft woody notes, and a light ozone breeze. These will be available for pre-order in my next release, which is October 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time. Thank you so much for watching.